Welcome back to Universeo. Today, we are going to talk about the end of space and time inside a black hole. It was long believed that nothing could escape a black hole, not even light, which is why black holes appear black. In this theory, a singularity is theorized to exist at the center of a black hole, where the gravitational field becomes infinitely strong and the curvature of space-time becomes infinite. At the singularity, all objects are trapped there, thus nothing can escape black hole. But is there an intuitive way to visualize this conclusion and help us understand it better? Yes, let's do it today. First, let's imagine we drill a well and there is no water in it. If you drop an apple into the well, it will accelerate and fall until it reaches the bottom. But what happens if we continue to drill the well deeper and deeper? Would the apple keep gaining speed as it falls? The answer is no. As the apple falls into the well, it experiences gravitational forces from all directions. Some of these forces cancel each other out due to their opposing directions. Now, suppose the well is drilled clear through the Earth's center and out the other side. As the apple passes through the Earth's center, it would experience zero gravity because the gravitational forces balance out. At this point, the apple's acceleration would be zero and it would reach its maximum speed. This thought experiment is incredibly valuable because it helps illustrate the mechanics of a space-time diagram as we move from a region of almost zero gravity in distant space to the strong gravity at Earth's surface and then back to a zero gravity region at Earth's center. This concept is particularly useful for understanding the space-time structure of a black hole. Flat space-time can be simplified and visualized as a two-dimensional diagram with one axis representing space and the other representing time. As we discussed in our previous video, to demonstrate the effects of massive objects, we can imagine this space-time diagram being rolled into a cylinder. In this visualization, the region of zero gravity forms the cylinder's surface. A stationary object in this region moves around the cylinder because it continues to progress through time, even though it doesn't travel through space. Meanwhile, light beams, which only move through space, travel straight down the cylinder. As the apple falls toward Earth, the curvature of space-time around it increases due to Earth's mass. We observe that the apple's aging process slows down as it descends, meaning that each second for the apple stretches out when viewed by a stationary observer. This indicates that the perimeter of the space-time cylinder becomes longer as the apple falls toward Earth. Thus, the cylindrical space-time diagram expands into a cone shape, with the wider end at the bottom. However, at Earth's center, where gravity returns to zero, space-time reverts to a cylindrical structure. This pattern is mirrored on the opposite end of the gravitational well. The space-time for this one-dimensional space can be visualized as a series of connected cylinders and cones. This simplified model serves as a basic approximation of a more accurate, smoothly curved surface. The most pronounced transition between the spherical and cylindrical shapes representing the steepest part of the space-time surface occurs at Earth's surface, where gravity is strongest. Although the transition from sphere to cylinder ideally extends infinitely, most of this change happens near the sphere. The transition from cylinder to cone is gradual rather than abrupt, which smooths out the sharp edges of the space-time surface. This sphere represents the curvature of space-time around the Earth, showing how objects move along a path through the Earth's core. Now imagine placing an object at rest at the Earth's center. As we previously discussed, when the space-time diagram is rolled up, a stationary object follows a circular path around the cylinder. This path traces the equator of the diagram, meaning the object doesn't move left or right through space. It only progresses through time. If we give the object a gentle nudge to the right, it would start to move slowly in that direction. On the space-time diagram, this would cause the object's path to tilt slightly to the right. The object would then follow a great circle on the space-time surface, inclined to the equator, similar to the ecliptic on a globe. If you were to flatten the space-time surface, the equator would appear as a straight line through time, while the ecliptic would wobble back and forth around this timeline. What does this mean? 
It shows that the object you nudged moved to the right until the curved space-time structure slowed it down. However, since space-time is completely flat at the center, nothing stopped the object there, causing it to overshoot the center. Eventually, the curvature of space-time pulls it back, resulting in the object oscillating back and forth in simple harmonic motion, much like a pendulum. Newton would have explained this by saying that gravity acts like a spring, pulling the object back and causing it to oscillate. Einstein, on the other hand, would argue that there's no spring or force involved. The object simply follows the curved space-time surface. If the surface is curved, it naturally bends the path of anything moving on it. Now, if you give the object a stronger nudge to the right, it would move more quickly, and on the space-time diagram, its path would tilt sharply to the right. The object would still follow a great circle on the space-time surface, but with a steeper inclination to the equator. If the object is kicked hard enough, it will not only escape the hole, but also rise high enough to reach the cylindrical part of the space-time surface. Once on the cylindrical section, the object won't fall back. It will continue spiraling indefinitely. In this state, the object has escaped. When unrolled, the spiral path becomes a straight line through two-dimensional space-time. Imagine if Earth's mass could be increased at will, then time near the Earth would slow down more and more. How slow could it go? In the most extreme case, time could come to a complete stop. When time stops, nothing moves. No motion means no escape, creating a perfect trap for everything, including light. In this case, a black hole is created. But how can you make time stop? By flaring out the space-time surface. For example, if the circumference of the surface at point B is double that at point A, the speed of proper time at B is half that at A. If the circumference at point C is five times that of A, the speed of proper time at C is one-fifth that at A. To stop proper time entirely, you would let the space-time surface flare out to infinity, making the circumference of the open mouth become infinite. As an object's mass increases, the space-time and spatial surfaces evolve accordingly. In the most extreme case, these diagrams rupture open. This means that an object falling into a hole created by such an extreme mass would never escape. What would you see if an astronaut fell into a black hole? We need to have the right tool and resources to accurately calculate this. That's where the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant.org, comes into play. Brilliant is a hands-on learning platform that empowers you to learn by doing with thousands of interactive lessons in logic, AI, data science, and quantum mechanics. One standout offering from Brilliant is their science course, where each lesson is filled with real problem solving that lets you play with concepts, a method proven to be 6x more effective than watching lecture videos. Brilliant helps build your critical thinking skills through problem solving rather than memorizing, so you'll also be becoming a better thinker. Brilliant helps you build real knowledge in minutes a day and makes it easy to learn anywhere right on your phone with fun lessons you can do whenever you have time. Whether you're exploring new topics or mastering advanced concepts, Brilliant's engaging courses will challenge and inspire you. To try everything Brilliant has to offer, free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org universio or scan the QR code or click on the link in the description below. You also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. With the visualization provided by this video, you would see the astronaut falling forever, which extends to the horizon at infinity. Although the track is infinitely long, only a 90-degree turn around the space-time surface is needed to reach infinity, which represents the end of space-time in a black hole. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please leave comments and subscribe to this channel.